it's so easy sometimes. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Minister Peter Altmaier. Uh, I now immediately pass the floor to Janusz Potocznik, uh, the Commissioner. Janusz, it's always good to have you uh, here in Berlin, um, but especially on this uh, issue. And uh, I can say we are all happy to have a Commissioner for the Environment so heavily fighting for a good and healthy environment. Thank you, Janusz Potocznik. Thanks, you. Distinguished panel, uh, maybe I can already say, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to everybody. I think it's fair to start by thanking the organizers, our German hosts, but also my colleagues from DG Environment for organizing this event. I welcome the message from Berlin. I express my appreciation to your work. Thanks to the commitments of the people like you, the issue of marine litter is now high on the political agenda. This is something we can all be proud of, something which gives me certain satisfaction. I must say that the file has progressed very quickly in the last couple of years. I remember that in 2010, during the OSPAR ministerial conference in Bergen, we were served a plastic breakfast comparable to what a local seabird, the northern farmer, has on average in its stomach. Even the message from the breakfast was not easy to digest. <laughs> Two months later, I met Captain Charles Moore, the person who identified these large ocean systems of rotating currents and the so-called plastic soup, which is created by our waste. I was shocked by the extent of the problem of marine litter all over the world. Simply, it's uh, impossible not to repeat some of the messages which you have heard and you, which you will be hearing also after me. I know it's boring for the audience, but it's never boring for the Commission to hear the same messages from Member States. Uh, from Parliament, and I think uh, in this case it's absolutely good that we hear it. The Rio Plus 20 summit last year truly showed the extent to which marine litter has now become an issue of truly global concern. It was the only new target that was actually agreed by the international community. At Rio, we committed to take action and come to a significant reduction of marine litter by 2025. In line with that commitment, the European Commission suggested in its proposal for the 7th Environmental Action Programme the setting up of an EU-wide quantitative reduction target for marine litter. In a nutshell, in less than three years, our focus has shifted from problems to solutions. This is an achievement in itself. But one can say that marine litter is unfortunately emblematic of our wasteful economy. The European economy still generates far too much waste. Uh, we use 16 tons of resources per person per year, of which 6 tons go to waste. We cannot afford to go on like this, as you know. Using resources in a more efficient way is not only a moral duty, but it is also an economic imperative if we want to overcome the current crisis and reorientate our economies towards long-term sustainable growth. Sometimes we hear that resource efficiency and circular economy, it's about green growth. It's just about growth, full stop. I would like to see an economy which minimizes waste, one which uses just the amount of resources that are needed, one that stops wasting our resources. One may wonder why such a conference in Berlin, so far from the sea. But marine litter is again unfortunately also emblematic of totally inadequate waste management on land. We all know that 80% of marine litter is estimated to come from land-based sources. Most of the litter is plastic waste. This clearly means that our priority has to be a comprehensive approach that targets plastic waste. Last month, the European Commission published a green paper on a European strategy on plastic waste in the environment. The purpose 
is to open the discussion of the best way forward to tackle all aspects of plastic waste, including new ways to increase recycling and waste prevention. Later this year, on 30th of September, we will hold a conference on the results of the consultation and the outcomes will feed into the waste review which I announced for next year, for 2014. Litter prevention is not a far-fetched concept, it is actually happening. I'm proud to say that also in my own country, Slovenia, it's, it's one of the front runners in 2010 and 2012, an initiative named Let's Do It. Slovenia mobilized nearly 15% of the country's population during one day to clean up the rubbish dumped in the countryside and in towns and cities. I was among that 15% and can assure you that the real change was truly in, not on the field, but in the people's minds. The real change is in their awareness of waste and what it does to the countryside and also to our seas. Cleanup campaigns are a formidable tool to raise public awareness and involve citizens, and this is why I have been promoting a cleanup day also at the EU level. People actually like to be involved and should be, because without them, no policy can be successful. Change needs to go beyond legislation. The private sector, and in particular the packaging industry, also has a key role to play. Nearly 60% of our plastic waste is packaging waste. Industry has to be thus part of the solution. We need to make a distinct effort to reduce our packaging. The objective should be to package as smart as we can. Packaging is fine where it clearly serves a useful purpose, but it should be avoided where it's simply exaggerated. At the same time, we need to increase the recycling of plastic packaging. Recycling starts in the product design phase. Plastic packaging should be designed in a way that is easily and efficiently recycled. For example, recycling can be made easier by avoiding dark pigment that is difficult to remove and results in unattractive grey recycled plastics. Plastic should be chemically simple, simpler and cleaner and multi-layer packaging material should be designed in a way that it does not hamper the recycling process. As I said, Little prevention is very successful in some member states and we need to learn from them. I know that you are already bringing together many experiences and also best practices. I am sure that one common feature of success is well-functioning waste management infrastructure, regular waste collection, separate collection bins, public waste collection points for glass, metal, paper, paper solvents, bulky rubbish. All of this means less littering. But to address marine litter in our seas, we need to go a step further. We need more and stronger cooperation at the regional level and also the global level. In our roadmap towards a resource-efficient Europe, published in 2011, we committed to contribute to the development of the regional action plans. The further development of these regional action plans on marine litter during this conference, with a very active involvement of the four regional seas conventions, it's a good example of how to cooperate within the European context. We also want to extend this promising cooperation to the global level and I'm very pleased to see that UNEP is using this conference for the further development of the global partnership on marine litter. Ladies and gentlemen, I have always seen waste management as part of the wider resource efficiency agenda. I would argue that if we see waste as a resource it ceases to be a problem, it becomes valuable, people want it. So if litter is waste, that it's in the wrong place, then we can follow the same logic and see it as a valuable resource currently being in the wrong place. I encourage you to spread best practices through your networks, making best practice systematically and proactively available to others has a huge potential to make fast progress in the fight against marine litter. I salute your engagement with the message from Berlin. I myself am committed to follow up on it. The commitment in the seventh environmental action program, the upcoming review of the waste legislation, and the further implementation of the marine strategy clearly set the agenda for the European Commission. And we will continue to support the regional seas conventions 
in the implementation of their action plans. I wish all of us representatives of international interests, national representatives, producers of plastic packaging and plastic goods, recyclers, retailers, fishing sector, sheep and cruise ship owners, local authorities, river basin authorities, NGOs, academia, and finally all of us citizens, all the success in the endeavor to free our oceans from the litter plug. The message from Berlin is loud and clear. We are determined to reverse the current trends. We are intelligent to be determined enough to heal our oceans. If I would force to put it, the Berlin message in one sentence, it would be enough is enough. Thank you for your attention. And by the way, I would like to congratulate our German friends for the Champions League. <laughs>